Hey PBC Calculus students, uh, in this video we are going to do free response question of uh, differential equations. We are going to look at uh, 2000 PC6 example number 15 which is a past AP question. So let's take a look at uh, differential equation given by dy dx equal to x times y minus 1 square. On the axis provided, sketch the slope field for the given differential equation at 11 points indicated. So here you could say that when y is 1, slope is 0. Based on the equation, you can see that the slope is x, y minus 1 squared. So whenever y become 1, slope is 0. So you can clearly see that these horizontal lines when y is 1, slope is 0. Second thing you can say when x is 0, slope is also 0. So that means these are the x is 0, slope is 0. Now the other points you can put in here, y is a 0, so x is a 1, so slope is 1. This will be negative 1. This will be negative uh, 1 squared again and a 1, so that will be kind of uh, like a flatten. So you can easily sketch the 11 points for the slope field part. Let's take a look at B. Use a slope field for the given differential equations to explain why a solution could not have the graph shown below. Now in your paper you can clearly see that this day shows the parabola which means if x goes to infinity and y also goes to infinity why this slope field is not the solution for this all you have to explain is when y is equal to 1 slope should be 0 and graph should approach 1 in other words solution i mean the slope field shows there is a vertical a horizontal asymptote at y equal to 1 which is not here clearly you can see that there is no horizontal asymptote that's why this does not represent this solution curve does not represent this uh, slope field that was a very simple one point so a and b are usually not more than one point each uh, let's talk about c c says find the particular solution given differential equation with initial condition f of 0 is equal to negative 1. I would prefer that you take out a notebook page to show work because the c is worth a lot of points, four points at least, and range. So c and d, you have to answer the question. I would prefer that you take out the notebook paper and work. So I'm going to use my white space here. I'm going to use this white space here. So first thing is dy is equal to x y minus 1 square dx. You just try to separate the variables. y minus 1 square needs to come on the other side which you can say that you divide both sides by y minus 1 square. So I'm going to write usually you get one point if you separate the variables correctly. Next is you take the antiderivative. Antiderivative of x is x square over 2 plus c. We usually keep the c on the x side because c plus c is another c, the c of all the c's. Here, antiderivative of y minus 1 square. You need to review your antiderivative rules know that only power is 1 then only you get ln x if it is another power you have to use power rule and u sub so that's a quick review so in this case you can say u is equal to y minus 1 so du is a dy and if i use the power rule i will have think about what would you use x to the negative 2 power rule will be x to the negative 1 over negative 1. So in this case, it will be negative 1 over y minus 1. Antiderivative of 1 minus y square is negative 1 over y minus 1. You can switch the denominator and numerator. 
now the hardest part here students have is to solve for y they are struggling to solve for y and finding c let's take a look at uh, what's my initial condition let's find a c first uh, initial value is 0 negative 1 that means if x is a 0 y is negative 1 so 0 that means c y is negative 1 so that will give me my x is a 0 y is negative 1 so that means negative 1 and negative 1 so that's a negative 1 half c is positive 1 half 2 negative makes it positive so c will be 1 half so i'm going to write y over y minus 1 here x square over 2 plus 1 half so going to explain how to do the algebra we got the calculus part algebra is the one we struggle so can i write this as 2 x square plus 1 negative 1 over y minus 1 to solve for y we are going to instead of doing cross multiplication you can do cross multiplication and then solve for y all i'm going to do is flip the both ratios y minus 1 is equal to over negative 1 i'm going to write it 2 over x square plus 1 2 over x square plus 1 and i have to take care of negative sign because this negative goes on the other side so y is equal to 1 plus negative 2 over x square plus 1 this is your particular solution like i said we struggle with the uh, algebra part we get the calculus correct this is your particular solution you don't have to simplify further just leave it leave it like this leave like this um, clearly you can see that horizontal asymptote at y equal to 1 horizontal asymptote if we see the slope field y equal to 1 that was a horizontal asymptote which we prove in the equation uh, last part is uh, find the range of the solution range means y values maximum and minimum y values maximum and minimum y values so if i try to sketch the slope curve you can see that 0 negative 1 i'm just uh, showing you 0 negative 1 and this is if i have to if i try to sketch the slope curve you can get something like this something like this so what's the range range means y values what is my maximum y value is 1 what's the minimum number you can clearly see from this what is my minimum number minimum is negative 1 maximum is 1 here you do not have to explain they did not ask for explain the range is oops range is y is negative 1 so that's the asymptote and you have no this is this is the asymptote y equal to 1 is the asymptote you can also write it in a set notation as negative 1 to 1 this is the range that means your y values maximum is going to be 1 because of horizontal asymptote and the minimum is 0 negative 1 because your graph passes through um, that point 0 negative 1 so that's what the hardest part make sure guys you know how to solve this this whole procession gives you four points first thing you have to solve for separate the variable correct antiderivative finding c correct and solve for y correct so that's a four point out of nine which is a lot okay, so the next question here we are going to see 2002 bc5 this is part of the homework example as well there is a last question is uh, in the homework is the same as this so this is a duplicate i'm doing here so that you can when you are checking the home doing the homework you can clearly see what is happening here so here they gave you ready slope field slope field for the given differential equation is provided sketch the solution curve passes through 0 1 and 0 negative 1 
you can see the dot they gave you so just to try to follow the path for zero one this is your solution curve one thing you have to be very careful college board will not give you credit if you stop halfway make sure your graph goes all the way until edge to edge then only you will get a full credit you cannot just show the half line you have to go all the way you don't have to put the arrow do not put the arrows because we don't know where it's going but just to draw the line edge to edge the second curve is zero negative one so you have to follow the path that it's going somewhere like this so make sure you go edge to edge clearly one is going forever initial value makes a huge difference to the solution curve if this is my initial value i will have a line if this is the initial value then i have a different shape so a is a easy sketching two graphs b says find the value of b for which y is equal to 2x plus b is a solution to the given differential equation justify your answer okay so justify your answer means you just have to show work so i'm writing the work for b here y is equal to 2x plus b is a solution so can i say what's the slope here if i look at mx plus b i can see that the slope is a 2 but this is also slope that's also slope equation so all you have to do is 2y is equal to Oh, I'm sorry, 2y minus 4x is equal to 2 because this we are given from here, the slope is 2. And that's also slope, so we just put them equal to each other. Put them equal to each other. And you solve for y. 4x goes on the other side, so 4x plus 2. And divide by 2. So you will have y is equal to 2x plus 1. What's the value of B here if you compare? B is 1. What justification you have to show? You have to show that this is the slope of the solution curve and this is, by definition, derivative is also a slope. And if you put them together, it's equal to, you can clearly see B is a 1. So this is part of the justification is a showing work that the both slopes are equal that's that okay so let's talk about c let g be the function that satisfies the differential equation with initial condition zero zero okay we cannot solve this equation let's review one more time why we cannot solve this is not separable this is not a separable differential equation cannot solve it that's why they says let g be a function which is passing through zero zero does graph of g have a local extrema at zero zero if so is the local maximum or minimum justify your answer so what they are asking is if if i'm using a different color if I sketch a line through 0, 0, what, does, what is this maximum or minimum? Well, we cannot use the slope field. You cannot use the slope field. You cannot never write that from the, you can see from the slope field that it is a maximum. No, no, no. You have to use calculus. What calculus you have to use is second derivative. So let's uh, check what's, what's the second derivative test. Second derivative test says there has to be a critical number. So let's check first if there is a critical number. dy dx at 0, 0. We have to confirm that there is a critical number, which is 2 times 0, 4 times 0 is 0. So we have a critical point, critical number at 0, 0 which means we suspect that there is a maximum or minimum or we don't know we have to see whether second derivative is uh, 
zero or positive or negative so let's find the second derivative d square y over dx square is d dx of 2y minus 4x we are finding the derivative again 2y minus dx I always recommend that you do this so that you can see that variable matches or not. So the first one you get 2 times dy dx. Variable matches, so you get a 4. Now we have to check whether this second derivative at 0, 0 is going to be positive or negative. Now if I, we already know that sec, first derivative is 0. So 2 times 0 minus 4 is negative 4 which is less than 0. Less than 0 means cc down. How do we write the answer? You have proved that this is a critical value, critical point, critical number. That means there is a der first derivative is 0 at x equal to 0, y equal to 0. Second derivative is negative. That means my solution curve is cc down. So you have already done this. All you have to write is g of x will have local maximum at 0, 0. Why? We already wrote here. First derivative 0, second derivative negative. You just write the statement. Answer. Answer the question. Justification is all your work is a justification that the first derivative, second derivative, p of 0 is 0. I hope this helped you. Make sure you watch the video, the first one, which has a two examples. And uh, take a good notes. I'll see you in the class.